It's all about you. It's all about worship. It's all about being in your presence. And so we turn our attention and our focus to the only one who deserves our focus. And that's you. Please come be here in our presence. Speak clearly to our hearts, God. Let us hear you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Welcome to the experience. It is good to have you here. Stretch just a minute if you need to. Say hi. Okay. We started uh, last week a new series. If you missed it, that's okay. We'll catch you up. It's called Your Mission Should You Choose to Accept It. Basically, we're talking about this, and it's simple. I remember that. God has a mission for your life. God has a mission for your life. Now, some of you are arrogant, and I love you because you're like, yeah, yes, he does. <laughs> You most certainly better believe it, because if you knew how special I am, you would understand. Bless you all with your wonderful self-esteem. Some of us are going, really? I don't think so. Maybe other people, but not me. God has a mission for you. I don't care how old, young, unskilled, massively skilled, whatever you think you are, God has a mission for your life. You were handcrafted, handmade, hand-selected. Even if you don't believe that there's a God, He still has a plan for your life. Now, you don't have to follow it if you don't want to, but He's got a plan for your life. Something amazing. We talked about three main components of God's plan for your life. One is every plan, every mission. And a mission is better than an adventure. An adventure is short-lived, shot of adrenaline, which is fun. A mission gives meaning and purpose to your life. Every mission has to have a leader, every mission has to have a team, and every mission has to have a clearly defined mission, plan. We're talking about those three things over the next couple weeks. This week we talk about there is a leader. And maybe you remember this movie. 